Hi, I'm Noah. I'm an instructional technology specialist at Monterey Peninsula College in Monterey, California. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of a program called Hot Potatoes. I'm not actually going to show you how to do anything with Hot Potatoes in this video. This video is just to introduce you to what the program is, what the interfaces look like uh, for creating documents in Hot Potatoes, and what the default finished products look like. Any of the resources or websites, websites that I visit will be linked in the description of this video. So Hot Potatoes is a collection of programs that's available on Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux operating systems that allow you to create interactive teaching exercises. These are exercises like multiple choice questionnaires, short answers, jumbled sentences, crosswords, matching or ordering exercises, and gap fill exercises. Uh, some people call them close exercises. Uh, Hot Potatoes is a free piece of software that was made by researchers at the University of Victoria in Canada and then released onto the internet for free. The exercises in Hot Potatoes are interactive, which basically means that students can solve the exercises from their computers and that when they finish a question they get feedback immediately after selecting the answer. They're also designed to be open in web browsers, so if you choose to put those ex these exercises online and make them available to students, they can be accessed from anywhere that that there's internet access. So let's take a look real quick at the exercises that you can make with Hot Potatoes and the interface that you use to make them. So I'm here at the Hot Potatoes homepage, which is hotpot.uvic.ca. And on the homepage, if you scroll down, you see there's a download link to the uh, software itself. And I'm going to go to the Tutorials section. And as a side note here, there's really, really good documentation on Hot Potatoes. The project, uh, the, the software creators did a really good job of creating documentation and guides, and the community has also contributed a whole lot. So if you're working with Hot Potatoes, really no matter how experienced you are, it's really good just to look at the tutorials and guides. For our purposes, we're going to look at the example exercises created with Hot Potatoes and I'm also going to open up the program itself. So here's the icon on my desktop. I double clicked it. And so our first example exercise is jQuiz. These are quizzes. And then over here on the left you might have a reading if you want. And here's multiple choice questions. When you select one, if it's wrong you'll get an answer saying so. And if you get a correct one then it'll let you know and give you a score for it. You can choose to show all the questions or browse through them. Here's a true or false. Uh, more multiple choices. Uh, fill in the blank. If you want hints, they'll spell it out for you one letter at a time. You can change how hints work if you want. Uh, this is a hybrid question, so if you get it wrong a certain number of times, it'll turn into multiple choice, and that's a multiple select question. And then over here we have the interface, so questions, and here's where you put in possible answers, and then the feedback from those questions, and which ones are correct, and the type of question it is. So we're going to move over to jclose, which makes gap fill exercises. And here you'd have a block of text with gaps in it that you can just write the answers in, and hints on the right so right hand side, and then check at the bottom. And then the other type of gap fill exercise you can make is also a gap fill with drop down boxes. And then over here on the left is our interface and you might have a block of text in here and you can create gaps and delete gaps and I'll go over setting creating th these sorts of uh, exercises in more detail in later video series here's our crossword so if you select letters or select uh, select the numbers you can put in the answers to questions that you write on the across and down 
I'm just using the hint button. And then over here we have a grid for creating that crossword. And you can add clues. So now we're going to move over to jumbled sentences. And you just click on the letters, or you click on the words to reassemble the sentence in what you think might be the correct way. And over here on the interface, you might have a main sentence and then maybe alternate ways that you could construct that sentence. You can also use JMX for creating jumble word exercises. So these would be spelling type of um, exercises. And then our last one that we're going to quickly look at here is JMatch. And you can do ordering. So you set up a number of events that need to be ordered in a correct way. And a matching exercise, which is anything on the left to anything on the right. It doesn't have to be pictures, it could be anything you want. And here's our interface with our left ordered items and the right jumbled items. So those are um, those are five of the six potatoes in hot potatoes. And one uh, additional note that I think a lot of people don't know about hot potatoes is that because hot potatoes creates its documents in web page formats, you can do anything with a hot potatoes document that you could do with any regular web page. So um, a common example is embedding pictures or embedding movies or YouTube videos or audio. If you want to do a listening test where you record audio and then have people make responses to that audio, you can embed audio into those. And um, and really there, there's just a, a whole large world of possibilities. Um, for creating quizzes. If you're interested in creating some of these exercises, feel free to continue watching this video series where I'll go into a little bit more detail with all of the individual potatoes in the hot potato suite. All right, thank you.